Welcome or welcome back. This session is the first part out of a seven part series on this channel where we explore the seven chakras through 10 minutes of yin per chakra. This session we explore muladhara or the root, which is generally located at the base of the spine. So we focus on our feet, our legs, and somewhat of our hips today. You can do this session without props. However, you may find blocks and or a blanket to be helpful in sustaining your postures. I'll show pop-ups of variations and options you can use with the props throughout the video. Please choose the variations that are sustainable yet challenging for you today, whether that be physically and or mentally. There's an extended version of each of these sessions on my website, kimreyashoga.com. So if you enjoy this session or any of the other sessions in the series, please consider going to the website to subscribe and or rent. We will receive the most benefits the longer we are able to sustain our focus and breath throughout these postures. With all that said, let's begin our practice. Toe stand. Come to standing onto your knees, tuck your toes underneath, and then sit either onto your heels or on a block. Rest your hands onto your thighs facing down to ground and either close your eyes, gaze between the eyebrows or slightly keep them open, gazing softly to the tip of the nose. Begin to tune into your breath, inhaling space into your lungs, expansion, Exhaling, emptying out from the base of your spine to the bottoms of your feet and into the earth. If your eyes are closed, gently blink your eyes open, plant your palms and step your feet back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, getting a nice stretch into the bottoms of your feet, the soles, the toes. And then separate your feet to the edges of your mat and then walk your hands to your feet. Draw your heels in, toes out, and sit between your hips for malasana or frog squat. Press your hands into your heart center and use your elbows against your knees to facilitate opening through the hips all the way to the base of your spine, your root. Staying with the breath, again inhaling space into the chest, exhaling out from your root through your feet into the earth. Inhale for space. Exhale to ground. Keep going here at your pace. Be with every breath, every inhale. Earth, roll your toes in towards each other and fold over your legs for a dangling pose. Toe heel your feet so that they're hip width distance directly underneath your hip joints and grab for opposite elbows, hang heavy. For a few breaths, just find gentle movement side to side, shaking out the head, yes, no, maybe. And then find stillness into your pose. Ground down through your heels, pressing down to lift the hips up. Slowly straightening the backs of your legs as you exhale, release. Release through the shoulders, the neck, the jaw. And release your hands down to the earth. Walk your fingers down, back to downward facing dog. And then lower your knees down to touch between your hands. Separate your heels and sit between your heels, either onto the earth, a blanket, or a block. And then lean your hands back behind you, lift your hips up about an inch, and then tuck your tailbone forward. So help deepen the stretch in the front of your hips. 
maintaining this awareness at the base of your spine or mula bandha. Either stay here or if you're seated on the earth, begin to recline back first onto your elbows and then eventually onto your back. Keep the awareness, the tuck of your tailbone, your hips. If you made it all the way down, And same way you came in, if you're reclined all the way down, gently press back up onto your elbows and then onto your hands. And then everybody, press your palms down forward and step back into downward facing dog to stretch out your legs. And then lower down to a seat, extend your legs forward and find your way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest and rock side to side, massaging your spine, giving yourself a gentle hug of gratitude. Thank you, thank you. Practicing santosha, contentment, wherever we are, physically, mentally. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And release your legs, stack your knees over your hips into a reverse tabletop. Go post your arms out to a side and then cross your right leg over the left. Now either stay here or find a double bind crossing your ankle behind the other. You can also skip the crossing if this doesn't feel sustainable for you. Whatever crossing you have, take a breath in. And then exhale, lower your knees over to the left side, adjusting as needed to keep your spine long. If your neck permits, gaze over to your right shoulder. Twisted root. Return your knees back to center, unravel the legs, shake them out. And then switch sides, cross the left leg over the right, either no bind, one bind, or double bind. Again, keeping your arms goal pose, shoulders flat onto the earth, and take a breath in. Exhale, twisted root, lower your knees.
Return your knees back to center. Unravel the legs. Shake them out. Shake them out. Thank you. Thank you. And then give yourself a big hug. Ball pose. Forehead towards your knees. Wrap your arms around. Take a moment. Breathe in. Receive. Thank you. Thank you, self. Thank you, body. Thank you, mind. Thank you, teachers. Exhale. Release. Legs, arms long onto your mat into Shavasana or corpse pose, representing the death of our practice. This is where we rest. And I will leave you here in Shavasana. Please stay for at least a few minutes to integrate your practice. Thank you, thank you for choosing to practice today. Thank you to all our teachers and their teachers, the lineage of this practice, all it offers our lives and the lives around us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste.